Hello world! Welcome to the second video of my Halloween artificial intelligence project. Today I'm going to do something really simple and show how to make your Raspberry Pi talk using the Python text-to-speech library. So I have a whole playlist about using a Raspberry Pi that you can watch by clicking here. And so we're going to be using a remote desktop connection and, and you can watch how to set that up by clicking here. So let's check it out. But first, welcome to the 150th video on my channel where I'm building my own digital assistant named Shane like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comics. Uh, please subscribe to my channel which you can see here. Uh, if you want to watch me build my own digital assistant or you just want to watch me build this AI powered Halloween decoration. So first we'll start off with this little speaker that I have. Um, it's a little wireless or a, a little sp USB powered speaker. So I'm going to turn that off, turn that on, and then I'm going to uh, plug that into the sound port. So it's just a standard sound port. And then I'm going to, uh, I already have it plugged in, but I hook this up to the power. And um, this already has a Raspberry, uh, a Raspbian OS um, connected to it. And so you can watch how to do that by clicking here. And so now we're going to set up a remote desktop connection. So like I said, I have a video on how to do this. So I just click to that remote desktop connection and then you'll need the IP address. So I use a um, an app on my iPhone called Fing, F-I-N-G, and I was able, you can search your Wi-Fi and find the Raspberry Pi IP address. So I encourage you to watch my video on how to do that. So we're going to connect and the default username is Pi. Um, and I have changed my password. And now that it's connected, um, I've already done this, but I'm going to show you what to do. You're going to go to this uh, thumbnail here, or I'm sorry, the uh, command prompt. And the first thing you always want to do uh, when you start up a Raspberry Pi is go uh, sudo apt get update and this may take a while there is no space between apt it's apt dash get all right and then as soon as that runs you're going to want to do sudo apt get upgrade and this usually does take a while especially if you haven't touched a raspberry pi in a while so what's that Done. The next thing you're going to want to do, assuming you have the Raspberry Pi OS installed, you're going to um, Python 3, all one word, dash m, then pip install uh, pytt, that's Python text to speech sx3. So go ahead and press enter and let that run. All right. And, and what... Um, what you also need to do is do like this, sudo apt get install python e speak. All right, and I'll show you why we're going to do that in a second, even though we don't use the library e speak in our code. All right, so as soon as all of those install successfully, you can uh, close out of your uh, command prompt, you can go to the Raspberry Pi, go to programming. Um, if you have, if you installed Python directly, like you just wanted the IDE, you can go ahead and select that. Um, but I have no problem using the Thani IDE. And so I've already ran this, uh, so you can see it. But um, if yours is blank, go ahead and do blank, and then you can save it. I have this test programs here. And then you're going to import PYTTSX3. Then you're going to create a variable called engine. So engine equals PYTTSX3 dot init. And then you're going to call that using the brackets or the parentheses. 
And then you basically put in anything you want. And this is the basis if you've been a long time subscriber of my whole uh, Shane Digital Assistant is using this library. So then you just engine.say and then you pass in whatever string. We're going to do the ubiquitous hello world. And then you do an engine.run and wait. So what this does is it's going to run this and then for us it's going to close the program. All right, so let's check that out real quick. So let's go ahead and run and see if we can capture this. I'm gonna put the headset close to the uh, the speaker. Hello world. All right, I hope you use that. I'm gonna try that one more time. Hello world. So that that voice is a little different. Um, I need to create a script for the Halloween decoration and I'll ter determine which voice. But let's see what it sounds like. It sounds kind of computer British to me. So please subscribe to my channel. Let's see if it gives inflection by the exclamation point. Okay, we're going to save and now we're going to run it. Please subscribe to my channel. All right, so that was pretty robotic, so I'm going to need to consider changing the voices, which we'll do in a future video. So that's pretty much it. Um, let me show you why we um, put in the eSpeak, why we installed that. So I'm going to stop and quit. All right, then we're going to exit this. All right, so if you did not, uh, if you just do the PYTTSX3, just like you would in a Python program, uh, you're going to be missing a uh, essential library. And so you're going to get this error right here. OS error lib e speak cannot open shared object file, no such file directory. And you're going to get a dozen uh, errors like this. So um, that's what happens. And the, e the fix is super quick. You just download that e speak and uh, it downloads all these files right here that it's looking for. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that you can uh, create something special. Uh, please leave a comment if you're building something with your Raspberry Pi and the Python text-to-speech. Um, please subs consider subscribing to my channel to watch what I do with this and how I incorporate it into my Halloween decoration. And thanks for watching. Goodbye, world.